What's going on friends? Welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to compute for the sum of the first even and odd integers of a number in C++. But as usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. Devise a computer switch that reads in a positive integer n and then prints the sum of the first n even integers and the sum of the first n odd numbers. To the algorithm we are going to ask the user to input the value of n since we don't know what n is then from there we are going to create two empty variables the first one to store the sum of the first even numbers and the second one to store the sum of the first odd numbers now the question says that our solution should read in a positive integer so to check this we ensure that n must be greater than zero so you see, if n is greater than 0, then the sum of the first even numbers equals n times n plus 1. And the sum of the first odd numbers equals n to the power 2. And if, now from here, we print our results. So the sum of the first n positive integers is even, and the sum of the first n positive odd integers is some odd. Now, how did I come up with these two formulas for some even and some odd? From the general arithmetic progression formula for summing numbers, we have n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d, where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Now, for even numbers, we know that the first term is 2 and the common difference is 2 again. So when I insert this into the formula and simplify, I'm going to get n times n plus 1, which is the formula I had here for computing the sum of the first even numbers are you the same for odd numbers now i insert the first term of odd numbers is one and the common difference is two so when i insert it into the formula and simplify i'm going to get n times n which is the same as n to the power two now let's try some values and see how our formula actually works so if i insert n to be five that means I'm, i want to find the first five even the sum of the first five even numbers i will have five times five plus one which is thirty when I compute it manually, that is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10, I'll get 30, which is correct. And when I find the first 5 odd, the sum of the first 5 odd numbers, that is 5 times 5, which is 25, we check by saying 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, which is, this, which is 25. So our formula works correctly. Now let's convert our algorithm to code in C++ and see how it, it works. So in the int main function, because I'll be using the par function, I, I declared the, um, the CMAT library. So I say include CMAT. So I, I included the CMAT library because I'll be using the par function. Now I declared and some even and some odd to be integers and initialize some even and some odd to be zero. Then I take the integer value for n from the user. Then I set the if condition that, that is going to check if the user's number is actually a positive integer and then compute for some even and some odd using the formulas we've already explained then i print out my results and then i end my code with system pause greater than zero to ensure that only the information we need will be displayed and then return zero by custom so now let me input a value for n and we see how our code runs so you say enter enter the number so i enter three i want to find the sum of the first three positive integers and the sum of the first three positive odd integers. Now, what do I have? I have the sum for the even integers to be 12 and the sum for the odd integers to be 9. That is, for the even integers, that will be um, 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. And then for the odd integers, that will be 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is 9. So our code is running properly. All right, friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, up. Pazia!